So in this series of educational videos for our audience around the world, one of the top hits we get for questions is why should I have my surgery done in Canada, the UK or the USA, Europe? Why should I not go to Turkey or Mexico or other places where I can get it much cheaper? Um, I always advise my patients um, when they come to see me, it's not our job as a physician or a healthcare provider to you know, convince you to stay somewhere or to go somewhere else. Um, that's up to you as competent individuals. Um, as a physician, my job is really to provide you with the facts and data um, around my own practice, around the practice of hair restoration surgery, which we've been doing for many, many years. So you can really make an informed choice yourself. But as this is a very, um, inquired around topic, we're going to cover some of the uh, tenants for our audience so you can actually go away and do some of your own uh, deep dive research. So the number one thing uh, that has trans transpired around this question is um, it's far cheaper to go to other centres around the world. Um, and this often comes down to uh, labour costs, overheads and volumes. Um, always inquire about who's going to actually be performing your surgery. So I do know in many centres around the world, which uh, have regulated health professionals, we are governed by the ISHRS, quite a mouthful, International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery. Now this organisation um, governs a lot of its members around the world for surgical technique, ethics and skill. And one of the most important tenants around this uh, membership is that the surgery must be performed by a regulated physician, not a technician, not a nurse, it must be a physician. And this is because there are many factors that go into surgery and what often patients want is um, a quick fix, they want to have the cheapest uh, product available, but when things go wrong and there are extra steps that are involved in uh, a case, you do require somebody who has vast amounts of experience and whether a lot of people like it or not, that has to be a physician. What's more, I often find that some of these centres, it's really a volume game. So in our practice, we will maximum perform one surgery or two surgeries a day if they're two smaller ones. Um, but we're never really performing six or seven surgeries a day or sometimes even ten. And the only way these can be performed is by having a physician who assesses you and then outsourcing all of the work to technicians who are not medically qualified. In addition, it's always important to ask about the other staff members I know, for example, in our centre, we've had the same staff and nurses for the last 10 years. This is our bread and butter. This is all we do. In some centres, this is outsourced and hair restoration surgery is really a bolt on. So these are very important questions to ask about the provider. And on a final practical level, this is surgery. You will have to be reviewed at some point. But if you are several thousand kilometres away from the actual um, surgical center and the healthcare provider who's sanctioned this work, it's very difficult to actually go back and see them should you require future evaluation, uh, future discussions about work um, or complications if that was to happen, which is always a risk. So I do hope this sort of helps you um, weigh up your options. Um, hopefully it was informative to our audience around the world and uh, see you on the next one, thanks.